everyone. I used a science model called our Cartesian Diver this month in my fish class to explain the concept of neutral buoyancy in fish. Fish have an air bladder inside of their bodies um, that can fill up with oxygen uh, when they need to be more buoyant and come up to the surface. They can release oxygen when they want to sink. To maintain neutral buoyancy, they have to have like a perfect distribution of air inside that air bladder. Um, to kind of explain that to very young kids, I tried my best using this Cartesian diver. Um, to make one for your classroom, I know a lot of teachers were expressing interest because the kids were very interested in playing with it. Um, you need a bottle. I used a 16 ounce soda bottle um, for little hands. You can use a larger bottle if you want, but you know there's, there's really no need. Um, and for your younger kids with small hands, um, this would be best. I definitely worked the plastic, excuse me, I worked the plastic a little bit. Um, kind of broke it up because you want it to be squeezable for little hands. So you don't want it to be a super stiff plastic. Um, so if it's not a, if it's a brand new bottle, if it's not used and hasn't been sitting around for a while empty, then I would definitely go ahead and squeeze it and kind of work the plastic a little bit. What you're also going to need is a pen cap, pen cap with a clip. I used the end of a Sharpie. And you want to make sure that hole to the pen cap stays open as you add clay. Now, how much clay do you add? This is regular old modeling clay, not Play-Doh. It did not break down in the water. Um, I had to experiment with how much clay was necessary to get this guy to maintain buoyancy. So at first, and what took me so long, was not weighing it down enough. And I actually tried to set this up using ketchup packets from fast food restaurants. And I realized the ketchup packets just weren't heavy enough. Um, and so that's why I switched to this, this um, model here. So once you have those all set, um, all you have to do is fill up the bottle. Again, if, if you try it with the pen, there's not enough clay, there's too much clay, then you just remove the clay, you kind of experiment with how much clay you need. Um, and I guess that would be dependent on what type of pen cap you use. Now notice I'm filling this all the way up to the top, and then I'm going to add the pen cap whole side down. You want that air bubble to be trapped in that cap. Now in fish, they actually release oxygen or add oxygen to the air bladder. That's not true here. There's no oxygen being added. There's no air being added there. What I'm doing is when I squeeze the bottle, the air bubble inside the pen cap gets distorted and uh, makes it less buoyant and so it sinks. Kind of like a fish going down to the bottom of the water, but again, a, a little different. Um, I release it. It goes all the way to the top. To maintain neutral buoyancy, you kind of have to play with it. And some of my kids were able to do this this week, four and five-year-olds, were able to kind of squeeze it and kind of hold it right in that, that neutral zone there, kind of where a fish would want to hang out, not too shallow, not too deep. Um, so this was a ton of fun. The kids liked playing with it. So if you want to add it to your science center, I think it's a... A good thing as long as maybe you tape that cap shut <laughs> so they don't open it and spill it. But um, here's one trouble with it. Once it gets disrupted, you can see how quickly that fell. That air bubble fell out of that pen cap there, and so it's not going to be buoyant at all. So you do have to reset it up. Um, empty it, fill up the bottle again, add the pen cap, and it's ready to go again. All right, so I hope you have fun.